Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back with my review of L.A. AIDS Jabber. L.A. AIDS Jabber, also known as Jabber, is a 1994 shot on video horror film. Written and directed by Drew Goderis. This film was a highly sought after obscurity on VHS, and it was pretty much impossible to find. Fortunately for all of us who have always wanted to see it and own it, Wild Eye Releasing has put it out on Blu ray as part of their Visual Vengeance line. This is number three in that line, and it may be my favorite yet. Maybe. I was one of those people who always wanted to see Jabber, but could never find the VHS. When I found out Wild Eye and Visual Vengeance was releasing it, I was ecstatic. After nearly 30 years of searching for a copy, it is now available to own. I finally got to watch it, and it was everything I expected and more. L.A. AIDS Jabber follows the story of a young guy named Jeff who hasn't been feeling very well. He's had horrible pain in his stomach, so much so that it's interfering with his life. In the middle of a date with his girlfriends, he asks her to drive him home because he feels too sick to do it himself. She tells Jeff he should see a doctor, and the next day, he does. Blood is taken to run some tests, and then Jeff is given the news. He has been diagnosed with AIDS. At first he thinks it's some sort of sick joke, but his doctor assures him it is not. After the first positive test, he ran the blood work again, just to be sure. The second test confirmed, Jeff's blood contains the AIDS virus. As you can imagine, Jeff is shocked, horrified, scared. But Jeff also becomes furious. He's angry at the world. To express this anger, Jeff makes a list of people who have wronged him. The first is a prostitute from whom he believes he contracted the virus. Another is his ex-boss who recently fired Jeff. Eventually, his rage even extends to people on the street. Using a hypodermic needle, Jeff injects his contaminated blood into all of them. As he takes victim after victim... The cops worry if the news gets out, it will cause a mass panic. But despite their efforts to keep it a secret, an up-and-coming journalist finds out. When she begins sharing the story to warn the public, Jeff is angered once again. And with that, he now has someone new at the top of his hit list. In case you didn't get the idea from the synopsis, L.A. AIDS Jabber is wild. Like I said, it was everything I always expected and more. I mean, what other horror film has a killer using a hypodermic needle to infect people with AIDS? It's a unique concept and definitely timely since this was released in 1994. That was during the peak of the AIDS scare, so it's fitting. Now obviously this is a shot on video film and it looks like a shot on video film. This Wild Eye Visual Vengeance Blu-ray is the best quality version you'll ever see of the movie. They did a fantastic job with it. Regardless, I love the look of the film. It has that low-budget 90s shot on video vibe. It's a reminder of the time in which it was released, and the infamy that surrounded it. I love the locations, Wood paneling just screams retro. There is so much nostalgia in it. L.A. AIDS Jabber is one of those movies you didn't even have to see for it to make you feel nostalgic. It captures the time, the place, the energy. The acting is exactly what you'd expect from a film like this. Of course, the cheesy performances add to the entertainment value. As I was saying earlier... L.A. AIDS Jabber truly is original. A killer with a syringe filled with his AIDS-infected blood. Where else have you seen that? Now that's a unique weapon of choice. Of course, it wouldn't be, dare I say, 
classic horror without a twist. So we get one of those as well. This was such an entertaining watch. I am beyond thrilled to finally own L.A. AIDS Jabber. Here are the special features included on this Wild Eye Visual Vengeance Blu-ray. I won't read them all out loud, but you can read them for yourself. And here is the absolutely amazing artwork underneath the slipcover. I love it. Of course, there is also reversible cover art, featuring the original VHS artwork. That was the one released under the title Jabber. I cannot thank Wild Eye and Visual Vengeance enough for releasing L.A. AIDS Jabber and giving me the opportunity to watch it and review it. Have you seen it? If so, what do you think of it? And do you plan on picking up this Blu-ray for your collection? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe. <laughs>